I felt uh, tons of pressure coming from my mother, who's who was an All-American in track. My dad, who used to uh, play high school ball, college ball. He was a great player. Uh, my brother, who played in the NBA, and he was a star center for a while. My sister, who's playing now at, in track, uh, already won a ring for herself. I just I need a whole other legacy. In 20 years of coaching high school football, Miles Garrett, at six foot four, 250 pounds is the first player that I've seen that, that runs a 4 5 40 yard dash, has a 36 inch vertical jump, and then has the best pro agility time on the team. It's a very rare combination of size, speed, explosiveness, and the ability to change directions, and an attitude to go along with it. Can he completely take over a football game? I think he can. When you look at Miles Garrett, I say even you know on the basketball court, uh, his athletic ability really comes through. And one of my favorite things in covering Martin is seeing the opposing teams their eyes bug out of their head when they see him. You know they realize they have to guard him or they have to contend with this guy who's blocking shots in the crowd. He's dunking on their heads and basically almost nice about it. I was in seventh grade and I just got out of basketball practice. We all still ready, still hungry, trying to get a little funny at the end of practice. And we had a little three-on-three -three going. And guy passed me the ball, just went up and dunked it. And my whole, whole all my teammates went uh, crazy. My uh, coaches jumped on me, they couldn't even say anything. Their expressions were just a shock. He's out there doing dunks that there's nobody else even trying. You know what I mean? He, putting the ball between his legs and putting it over his back and stuff like that. I was like, whoa, my, even my father said, dang, I didn't know Miles could jump like that. <laughs> so It's surprising. It's, it, when you see that, the laid back, like if you, if you ever just kind of watch him walk on and off the field, you would never think that laid back, kind of slow paced little fella would burst into, you know, chasing down quarterbacks and chasing down, you know, running backs and, and wide receivers. Texas high school football. The beauty of it, you know, to be able to cover it for somebody like me, is that you could cover your eyes, and just point to any game on the schedule and go see a monster player, just a great uh, college football prospect. And when you look at someone like Miles Garrett, he's right near the top of anybody I've seen physically. Miles went to Texas camp, and this was as going as a junior, wasn't mm -hmm. it? He was a junior. He had to be, that had to be before the season started. Before we left that camp, they offered him. Not approved him. They offered him. They, they, they took us up to Mac Brown's office and Mac showed us his rings and all this stuff. And he said, uh, <laughs> I want to offer you today. In the midst of what has been a whirlwind recruitment, and I'll just give you a perspective, we had a day, and, and quite honestly, this is a typical day, where we had Nick Saban from Alabama, Les Miles from uh, LSU, Mac Brown from the University of Texas, Brian Kelly from Notre Dame, all here on the same day to come and see Miles Garrett. It's amazing to me when he gets calls to talk to the coaches who are legends, you know, and they're at the top of their game, and, and you're just having casual conversation about one of the most beloved things in your life as your kid. Is Miles Garrett destined for great things at the collegiate level? Absolutely. Miles Garrett has an NFL body right now, and you just don't see that. You see a lot of really good athletes, but you don't see guys that are, that are NFL ready at, as 18 year old. how it's going to be, you know, going and seeing him, you're seeing him growing up, you know. He has, he has several schools that he still wants to go visit. Um, he's still wide open. 